In this series, I'm going to be going through all 30 NBA teams and making a starting five of each of those teams with the best players I've got from season four, five, six, seven, and eight in NBA Live Mobile. And once we've made all of these lineups, we will be going into a showdown quarter. And for the first part, we have to score with every single position in order. And then I can simply go ahead and score as many points as possible. We're going to be putting all of these teams onto a leaderboard based off of points difference to see which one comes out on top. So we have now got to the final team in the Atlantic division, which is of course the Toronto Raptors. So we're going to be going through all of the five different positions. We'll start things off at the point guard spot and we'll kick things off with the lowest overall players and work our way up bit by bit. Of course, this is the last team in the division before we go on to the next division and the next team will be the Chicago Bulls. But let's go through and try and find some really high overall Raptors players to fill up this lineup. We're kicking things off at a 78 overall Fred Van Vliet. Of course, all the boosts that I've got on these players are from past seasons. I don't think any of the boosts I've got at the moment are from season eight. And of course, all of the players that we've got in this video have been carried over between seasons because it has allowed you to do that from season four all the way till now we've got another fred van vliet at 93 overall boosted up to a 107 which is a great boost on him and he's giving out that gold shooting boost to position have we got anyone else though that is going to replace this playing master over here it's not looking likely unless we've got another fred van vliet who is a lot higher overall we're getting up into the high 100 overall players and it's not looking like we're getting any closer to another fred van vliet card and that's it we're at the end of that so we're gonna have to stick with that 107 overall fred van vliet from a previous promo can't remember exactly what season he was from because of course it only shows you season four players as having that season four text on it the rest of them it isn't showing that at all so it's just me going off of memory and i can't quite remember exactly what season he was from but we've got a 74 overall trent jr there to kick things off hopefully we can find someone a lot better and hopefully we can make this team pretty good we've got a 77 overall vince carter again as with all of the other team builders for this series i'm simply going off of what logo it is showing on the card itself so they might have played for another team as you can see fred van vliet has also played for the rockets but of course that card over there is showing rockets so it's not going to be part of this lineup we got an rj barrett over there going up to 100 overall at that shooting guard spot he's got the coin boost on him he might actually be a season eight player or that could be completely off about that we got another vince carter card from the raptors over there going up to a 107 overall he's probably got some good dunking on him as well we got another vince carter on but on that card he is playing for the net so he's not going to count for this lineup have you got anyone higher overall than this one we got another fred van vliet and it actually works with having him in the team as well as that point guard one as well so we'll stick him in he's 116 overall and we haven't actually got anyone better to replace him with so he's gonna have to go at that shooting guard spot so we got fred van vliet at the point guard spot and at the shooting guard spot. I'm going to have to be very careful with who I'm going to shoot with. As of course, as with all the other versions, I have to go ahead and score with every player once in turn before I go on to scoring with whoever I want. But let's go on to the small forward spot and hopefully find a good Raptors player to help our lineup out a little bit. Hopefully it's not too bad because I do want to keep these high overall players going. And we have got a 90 overall OG Ananobi. He's going to be pretty decent to start things off. But again, hopefully we can improve on him as we go through all of these players. We're getting through them fairly quickly. We're up into the 90 overall players. Now we've got an 89 overall Scotty Barnes, which is going to be decent from a live pass in a previous season. We've got a 92 overall Kawhi Leonard from the look back promo. I think that was in season six. And we've got another Barnes over there at 96 overall. This is that one position which we do have quite a few of the Raptors players. Hopefully we've got a high overall one as well. Keep going through up to the 108s, 109s, now up to 111 overall players. And we have actually got two really high overall Toronto Raptors players. We've got a Tracy McGrady going up to a 119 overall. But I think we're going to have to go with the claw over here. The 120 overall completely maxed out on a lot of his stats, which are looking great. He is from the Halloween promo back in season four an absolute monster of a card and he's going to be at the small forward spot so let's hopefully find someone of similar standard at the power forward spot we're starting things off with a 72 overall player we're now into the silver player straight away into those gold players can we find someone better to improve on this card we're going through our players bit by bit now into the elite players still going through still no more raptors players but hopefully we can find someone who's of decent overall we got 95 overall pascal siakam he's going to be fairly decent for our team we got a another spicy p at 101 overall he was from season five if i believe that's why his overall wasn't great considering he was probably one of the last cards of the season itself but we'll stick him into the team anyway at 112 overall and it's not looking like we've got anyone better 
to go ahead and replace him so he's going to be good at the power forwards but he has got some good stats even though he isn't say at that max overall like the claw is but hopefully we can round this off to get a good lineup at the center spot we're going into the silver cards and still not really anyone from the Toronto Raptors hopefully I've at least got someone to stick into the team we're into the gold players now still going through all of these guys and we have not found a single Toronto Raptor player but let's go through we're now nearly into the 90 overall players and still we're not looking like we're finding any of these Raptors where are they hiding are they all going to be at the very end in those high overall spots so up to 100 overall now and still we haven't got a single Raptors player we should hopefully have one and we do a 109 overall Gasol over there he's going to be from season four I believe from the world tour and he was one of those cars that did get a little bit screwed up with the artwork you can see him being a bit stretched out over there in terms of the width but he has got the brick wall ability i have no idea what that ability does last time we saw abilities was of course in season four but this is the team for the toronto raptors at 114 overall of course with all of these lineups i go into a showdown quarter i score through all of the lineups going from the point guard all the way through to the center and then we can do whatever we want we're going to see exactly what this team can do we're playing the first team we come up against no matter what overall they are going to be although this team is a 114 overall lineup so that is pretty good and there is a high chance that we do get an overall advantage which is definitely going to help us get the highest points difference we possibly can to see where this team ends up on the leaderboard so this time we're up against a 111 overall team so it isn't going to be the easiest game for us at all but let's go in with fred van vliet the point guard version we're going for that three pointer perfect release and we're going to sink that one to get things started so i need to score with the shooting guard this time instead of the point guard i need to try and keep an eye on them there's no way to tell them apart really i've just got to make sure i pick the shooting guard which isn't going to be too difficult because at least we inbound the ball to the point guard over there so let's find the shooting guard he's on the left hand side we'll go for that three pointer another perfect release and he is going to sink that one so that's two three pointers made so far that's six points on the board and we're up by four points which is the main thing we want to get that points difference up as much as possible so now we're on to the small forward which is of course that Kawhi Leonard the claw we're going on the right hand side another perfect release and we're going to sink that one we're going three for three on all of these three pointers which is a great start we just need to play some good defense get a couple of steals in to get some quick baskets they're going to go in with Jackson Jr he's going to miss that one the claw picking up the rebound we've got spicy P we're going for a dunk and he is going to finish that two and a slam off with a maxed out dunking which is absolutely insane so we're up by nine points can we get the ball back we do with fred van vliet we need to score with our center now which is of course that gasol so let's play it to him he's got the brick wall ability we're going for that two pointer and he's going to sink that one so that's all five players got a shot made down and we're up by 11 points which is really good we've got plenty of time left in the game I reckon we're going to try and score a lot of three pointers with the claw because his three point stat is really good but we need to get some good defense in we'll hit that brick wall ability i don't know exactly what it does but we get a steal there with fred van vliet let's run it up the court we'll play over to the claw on the right hand side we'll get that perfect release for three and unfortunately he's going to miss that one but gasol's going to pick up the rebound and he's just about going to finish that layup off he's got a maxed out layup which is really good we've got that another brick wall ability again i have no idea exactly what this ability does it doesn't really seem to be working but we get the double team and unfortunately it is going to be a defensive foul because it's been so long since i've used any of these abilities it is pretty hard to work out what they do except for of course clutch in the paint and all of that stuff but we get the rebound there with spicy piece let's run out the court with him we got the claw on the left hand side on the catch and shoot three and he's gonna sink that one so a miss three was a slight hiccup in there but at least he makes that one and we got a 16 points points difference they've only scored two points the whole game which is absolutely nuts can we get another steal with fred van vliet he seems to be pretty good at getting these steals they're gonna play it over to ray allen again playing it back out to the Aaron Fox they're just passing the ball around we almost get a block there with spicy P but they make another shot with that Jaron Jackson Jr so let's play over to Fred Van Vliet we'll run up the court a little bit try and get another shot off it's another three pointer another perfect release and another made shot putting us up to 21 points in a game giving us a 17 points points difference we got just under 20 seconds left to go in this game can we get another shot off with maybe the claw or Van Vliet or maybe even spicy P or something like that they're going to come through we get the brick wall ability finally and Carl Anthony Towns is going to come through catching the rebound and finishing off with that windmill dunk so we got about 7.6 seconds left in the game we'll play over to spicy p we'll try and get a three pointer in with him if we can we're going from the right hand side a little bit challenged and unfortunately he does miss that one so we end off the game there with a fairly decent lead winning 21 to 6 which gives us a points difference of 15 and sends the raptors 
to the top of the leaderboard. So now the Raptors are at the top of the leaderboard. It's going to be really interesting to see what other team can knock them off that top spot. It's already getting a little bit crowded there at the top with a bunch of teams at very similar points difference. But next up, we are going to be making the Chicago Bulls. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on so you don't miss that video. And if you want to go check out all of the other team builders I've done, not just in this series, but in the game itself, I've done things such as the Alphabet Squad Builder, the Franchise Team Builder, a bunch of different team builders. If you want to go check them out, the playlist should be popping up in the bottom left hand corner and I'll see you guys in those ones. Peace.